Yes, that's right. My favorite bar to drink in is McMahon's Pub, New Hyde Park, 1217 Jericho Turnpike. Why do I have to have that guy staring at me? Fine, <laughs> ah, Tony, it was making me nervous. I don't know. Tell me about Pete. I was, I was born in Mineola. My Here in Mineola? Mineola, New York? Mineola, New York. Lived in Farmingdale when Farmingdale was farm. My father was a lieutenant colonel. In which branch of service? Army. Army. He was a rather brilliant man. It was rather hard to talk about. He, saw it, but he uh, was any discipline. Was he too harsh? No, not at all. Not at all. Very just traditional. Traditionally harsh. What does traditionally harsh mean? Uh, he did something wrong, he got punished. You graduated in what year? 1966. 66. Uh, let me see, that was almost getting ready. A couple of years later was the height of Vietnam. Your brother's already there then. No, my brother wasn't there. My brother didn't go there until 68. And I went to Cambodia in 69. Can I ask you about it? Sure. Now, from what I understand, you weren't in the military. You were a uh, mercenary. I was, I was working for IT&T. IT. Right. So they didn't want people who were connected with the service, which is the reason why Billy had come out of the service. It was almost like mission impossible. We didn't deny you ever existed. We were pretty damn good stealth people. And that's, that's what we did. We put in those rooms up and wired. And we did pretty good. We were uh, getting picked up on a river. And so this is, the boat goes real fast. Almost, almost like Navy SEAL where you can hook on to it. Right when we were getting ready to hook up, there was a concussion water. It came down, thank God it hit the water and didn't hit the ground. If it hit the ground, I would have been dead. But it slammed my face up against the side of the boat. This side of my face was entirely blown off. Uh, I had a broken neck, a broken back. I was in the San Diego Naval Hospital for about a year. My face was pretty well, pretty well blind to help. All of this had passed it, every part. Broken neck, broken back, took me about another six to eight months to learn how to walk. When I left the hospital, they gave me, today you'd be arrested. They gave me a mayonnaise jar about this high. All right, the, big, the big ones like you would buy in a... Like at Sam's Club or something? Yeah, filled with morphine pills. Yeah. That's what they gave you. I mean, there was no such thing as controlled drugs back then. So, you start running, I'm just taking morphine pills that went to a barn and a couple of years. You're, you're feeling fine. No pain at all. I go into the bar, I, I couldn't spend money. Right? It was like, hey, I got fucked up in Vietnam. Give him a beer. Frankly, I think that's where I really, really started to become an alcoholic, which I, we can get into that too, but, yeah. You don't have to. No, eh, I'll, I'll talk about anything. It's like killing more than just a pain. I think I was killing memories. Did you want to kill them? Sure. I didn't want to remember anything. I didn't, I, the, the pain would be killed by any more. And were you drinking every day? Oh, yeah. Eventually, finally, I get better. Start going to Nassau Community College again. Da, 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 da. I didn't graduate. I had about a year and a half. That's with the credits that I already had. Because I, I told you before, I had already started going while I was still in high school. I saw a guy who had an ad. He didn't have an ad. He had a little sign. Help wanted office work. Job, and I was on my way back and forth from school. Stopped in. 
guy was a structural engineer. You needed somebody to run his blueprint machine. When you weren't making blueprints, you ran the red, the American Institute of Steel Construction Manual. And I learned how to design buildings in steel. It's still what I do. I mean, I, I don't run blueprints, you know, I check for and I design them. And at the time, there was a lot of construction going on. And we were doing a lot of work for New England Iron Works, who was the largest steel fabricator in, I would say, the New England states, not New York, the New England states. And one of my said, my name is Peter Radcliffe. I worked with Jay Lehman. Uh, in fact, I'm doing the New Haven Savings Bank for drawing for it right now. And I just got laid off and I need a job. And he goes, well, what happened? And I told him, I knew this guy from the Navy came back. He had to lay me off. I just got mad enough in the echo, blah, 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 blah. He goes, good, you're hired. He's on a Friday. Oh, okay. He's on a Friday. He goes, when can you start? So I said, uh, well, uh, maybe two weeks. And he goes, you want the job? Start Monday.